Hey guys, welcome to What I Eat Wednesday. I am vlogging today as well with Vlogmas, so things do overlap, but I'll try not to show what I'm eating in Vlogmas and just focus on what I'm eating today. Um, but if you do watch Vlogmas, you'll see that I got called into work at the very last minute, so I'm off to work now and quickly having food. Um, I downed an espresso first thing in the morning, so I'm like, oh my god, I gotta wake up, I have to be at work very soon. Um, Okay, it's only 8.15 right now, we're still okay. Um, and then for breakfast, I have some oatmeal, just plain oatmeal the past couple days I haven't, or the past, yeah, I guess, I haven't been putting anything else in it. Um, so just having that. And then I get to open my advent calendar tea that I'm gonna be taking to work with me. So, what is it, the fourth today? Yes, because I film what ate Wednesday a day ahead, so it's up right at 9 a.m. on Wednesday. Um, four, 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 there we go. And I will not go into my dislike of the sachets because I've already mentioned that twice in my vlogs. Ooh, yes! This one is apple cider. This was one I loved last year, and then I, or two years ago, I think. And then I mentioned it to my friend that she actually got me a full tin of the apple cider because I mentioned how much I liked it, that it's a tea, but it really tastes like you're drinking apple juice, like hot apple cider, well, hot apple cider, clearly. So, so excited to brew this, um, or steep this, I don't say brew. Just gotta wash out my cup from yesterday and Let's make this and eat my oatmeal. So much going on today. All right, so taking to work my half a banana. I had the other half yesterday before my run. And then tasting my tea. Mm, it is good. It's like a warm hug. It's weird when people describe things like that, but it totally is. I do like hot apple cider. And it's not, I think I mentioned this last time I had it, like a year ago or whatever. It's not just like that little drink mixture of mainly sugar. It's actually good stuff. Like, you can really see the apple bits and stuff. Yeah. All right, so off to work with my tea and banana. Hopefully not gonna be there that long today. <laughs> I am back from work an hour later than I thought I was gonna stay, so now I'm in a huge rush. So no time to make any dinner, and I was so looking forward to baking bread and everything, or lunch. Um, so I just had leftovers. Dan made this a couple nights ago. Um, they're like veggie meatballs in a very salty, you know, didn't want to criticize it on the day, but it is very salty, um, like a curry, but it still is good. Um, and he made it, I didn't have to that day, so I can't really complain. But yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit of um, some Mango chutney as well. Hopefully that'll kill the salt. <laughs> of course the chutney also has salt, so it's not gonna kill the salt, more just the mask the salt. Um, but yes. Mmm. It is less salty. Maybe it's just cause it's a couple days later. Oh no, there's salt. But it's still really good. It tastes delicious. So I'm just wolfing this down. Mmm. I ended up not eating my banana, there was no time. I did enjoy my whole drink. But this evening, or after work, then we have a workshop with some of our students, so I'm gonna be there till about eight o'clock. So in that little gap, after I finish teaching before a workshop, I'm gonna eat that other half of the banana. Still haven't changed yet, but just be having a froth of chocolate. And I need something with caffeine as a pick-me-up today. Mm. I'm gonna go with, there's not enough time to let loose tea leaves brew, or steam. So I'm going with almond biscotti. Well, I guess so. That doesn't have much taste. And then putting some caramel in it. <laughs> I'm gonna let it steep a little bit longer um, with the tea bag in, and then when I get to work, I'll take it out. But just so I get full strength. <laughs> it honestly, it's a really weak tea in general. I just brushed my teeth so it tastes a little funny, but it is good. All right, see you guys later. Hopefully Dan will make something. I was, like I mentioned, I was planning on doing, um, doing like a big homemade soup as well as doing homemade focaccia bread, but that didn't happen when I got called into work. Just at work and giving my tea a little refresher. I'm home from work and Dan has made dinner. We are having herbs, like a butter herb sauce with some onions um, with pasta. And then I'm also gonna make a salad as well. Dan, how long did it take to cook all the herb, the sauce and stuff? Ten Not minutes. Too long. 10 minutes, all right, well, it smells really good, so I'm excited to try it. Plus we're trying to use up a lot of those herbs that we have.
So we're adding, ooh, the onion herb sauce, butter sauce to the pasta. Here we have our salad. And I put the delicious zesty Italian lime dressing on it. Who knows what's called? Anyway, it's delicious. So having this first, mm. and then our pasta. Now we have our pasta with herbs. Let's try this. Super big bite. <laughs> That's actually really good. We hardly ever have this. We always mostly have tomato sauce. And it's a refreshing kind of twist or just, yeah, no, it makes it really like light. Oh, delicious. Sounds awesome. <laughs> so we're gonna eat this and then we have some new Oreo flavors to try for dessert. <laughs> I got some Oreos. Um, if you watch my vlog that's being posted this afternoon, um, I go through it. But um, yeah, so I thought I'd try some new types because they were on sale and they're ones that I hadn't seen before. Um, we got peppermint bark, which I'd seen advertised on TV. I'm like, oh my god, that sounds amazing. And then it was between salted caramel and pistachio. And I know Dan loves pistachio, so can either be very good or disgusting. So I'm gonna try pistachio. They only have the thin ones in pistachio. But that's probably good and all I need. Oh! Hmm. That's actually good. I was about to say, it doesn't really taste any different. And then that flavor hits you at the back of the throat and it's like, oh. Except I would not call it pistachio at all. It actually tastes like almond or like cherry or at like the amaretto flavor. That's, that's, this is a very delicious actually. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That is a good Oreo. Okay, yeah, peppermint bark. This one's the regular ones, um, regular stuff, not just the thin stuff. Mmm. I love the mint flavor. Mmm, and the crunchy candy cane. That was good too. What then? After, after having the pistachio ones, I think I actually like those better, which I did not think. I was honestly just getting them for Dan, because he loves pistachio. I was not expecting to like them. <laughs> This is okay, but I like that one better. <laughs> mm. I think I'll have one more of these. Let's see, are they green inside? <laughs> mm. And then, probably call it a night. So much editing to do. I'm trying to get everything done tonight. Can't rely on not having to go to work tomorrow. The person could still be sick, so everything getting done today. So thanks for watching What I Wednesday and make sure you check out Vlogmas all month. Um, my vlog videos are up at 12 Pacific Standard Time every single day. We'll see you later. Bye.